Hello reformers and welcome to a special feature of Esports Life. Now Esports Life is a pro gamer simulator. You start off as basically a nobody and you have to get from zero to hero. <laughs> uh, that was uh, that was a bit cringy wasn't it? Okay anyway, <laughs> you can check out the link in the description if you want to go to the Steam store page uh, of this game and check out some of the extra features that I haven't mentioned, but otherwise we're gonna start a new game and try to balance our professional gaming life and our personal life. And so that means studying and friends and flirting and all that sort of thing and, you know, balancing that with the likes of the internet and wonderful things. So you can choose your gender here, male, female, you can choose between a variety of different archetypes. I'm gonna go with just this random guy right here. Should we just randomize a little bit? You could just see the various kinds of combinations. Wow, this is actually very similar to how I look right now. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, so we'll just go with that. You can change your face structure as well if you so desire. I guess I'll just go for the standard. And an eye color. Let's go for let's go for green. You can go for advanced if you are the kind of person that wants to well deal with all the <laughs> deal with all the sliders. I'm not one of those people, so it's, it's just nice that it's there. And now we can go for something a little bit, a little bit different here. I guess this is. Oh wow, this. Is, oh, okay, yeah, this is, this is good. Okay, so let's go to advanced, and I'm just gonna change this a little bit because this is. Yeah, I'm gonna go for accuracy here. I'm gonna go for basically what I'm kind of, what what I'm kind of looking like a little bit here. Okay, I I guess this is good. Yeah. Okay, let's go with that. This is not my hair though. We need to go for. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Okay, yeah. So there are a variety of different hairstyles here. You could choose between the hair colors as well. You can even go into a color selector if you so desire. And then obviously we've got facial hair and everything like that. And these are all correct for me, so that's all fine. And then you could choose what you want to wear. So these are, by the way, the same developers, as far as I can tell, that have created YouTuber's Life, which I did not play on the channel for some unknown reason, but yeah. They also created that. And this is obviously a bit of an expansion on that, even though it is a standalone game. And it does have a variety of, well, features that weren't included in that. So let's see. What am I going to wear here? I actually think I should go for like a nice black shirt or something like that. Okay, I think, I think that's fine. We're playing Sims now, aren't we? Okay, so let's go for some black jeans and then we'll just go for some black trainers or something like that. And, and there we go. Yes, that has completed the look. That is what I look like. Fantastic. And shall we go for some, <laughs> shall we go for some earrings? Why not? Let's go for some earrings. And a hat. No, I'm not going for a hat. Thank you very much. Okay, so, personality affects your skills and initial leadership cards. Now, where various games like this have come into kind of criticism in the past is that they don't really allow you to partake in gameplay as such. It's basically down to random luck or a varying amount of different factors. Now, there are obviously those factors still in play here, but there are more gameplay elements to kind of get yourself involved in. So. Let's see what we can do here. Balance. Do you like to play in different positions and you haven't decided on one? You like to kill enemies and go on the attack? You like defending your position and helping your team? Or you like achieving the match objectives? And let's go for a random name, shall we? Let's go for Lawrence. Alright, so there you go, there was the small pan through our neighborhood, and obviously a story starring Lawrence, or Larry, as I'm now going to be calling him. And we're being called by Mike, which is our childhood friend. Hello, Lawrence! I have two tickets to see the Master of Champions Grand Final. Get ready, because we are going. Master of Champions, question mark? We're gonna play the- we're gonna play the Dimwit. Yes. Master of Champions? What's that? It's one of the games that is blowing up the most in esports. I don't know much about eSports. I'll tell you all about it. Come to my house because my dad is taking us to the stadium. 
All right, so yeah, yeah, this is obviously our room. We can't do much about it right now because they're just teaching us how to navigate through the game so far. And this is the map. There's going to be a variety of different locations that will be appearing on it. And then you can travel between those freely however you so desire. But at the moment, obviously, it's a little bit, you know, a little bit linear because we need to be taught the various systems in place. Ah, ready to see the best in the world playing video games? This is eSports. That idea sounds great to me, Mike. Look at the ticket. How cool is that? Yes, we're looking at the we're looking at the ticket. Look at that. All right, so here we are in the games zone, which is obviously the arena, the, you know, where where everyone talks and says hi to people and all that sort of thing. Now, there's a number of different references in here. If you've already seen, you know, there's a lot of different parodies to certain things and people. Uh, you can see Modern Warfighter over there, and you you play, yeah, well, you play online is obviously, yeah. <laughs> anyway, hey Mike, I want to come in now. I want to go in now, I guess. Wait a second, it's totally full. Oh, Julia Negri is there. Shall we go and say hello? Who is Julia? Who, yeah, who, who is Julia? She's one of the most famous cosplayers in the world. I was wondering, let's go. Why are we talking in emoji? <laughs> We're talking in emoji right next to each other. Okay, so this is teaching us how to move around the camera, as you can see here. It's pretty easy to move around. You can actually talk to anyone you so desire. Obviously, right now, you can't do that just yet. So, yeah, you can also zoom out and zoom in just a little bit, and you can click on people, and story dialogue is where we need to go. There's us sauntering over. Thanks for coming, guys. What are your names? Uh, mm, uh, Mike is obviously not very good at this. The one who is drooling is Mike, and I'm Lawrence. Nice to meet you, Julia. Likewise, have fun. I couldn't get any words out. This always happens to me with girls like that. There's John Malatoot. Shall we go to say hello to? Who? Uh, let's not. <laughs> we can actually say let's not. Shall we? Shall we? Shall we say let's not now? Let's say who is this? Who is this? Malatoot was an esports legend. Come on, let's go. All right. So now we can go over there and, you know, speak to him. Hello, are you Malitude? Yes, that's me. We would love to become professional players like you. Any advice? Don't do it. It's really stressful and you'll retire early. Um, thanks. <laughs> it was a joke. I'm going in now. See you guys. Bye. Mike, why did you say I want to be a professional player as well? Why are we mad at him? Come on now. Wait until you, wait, wait until you see today's final and then tell me. Apparently we're we're that cool that we're talking in emoji in real life. Moving the camera to see around you by clicking the central mouse wheel. Yeah, so we can look around, look at the look at the huge stage. And, and there comes the announcement. The Annou announcer? Champions no, the announcer. Finals. Was that a miss? Incredible! That was smashing! This is one focused team. Oh my god, victory is on their sights! How effortless! Here comes the onslaught! Your tournament winners! Ah, uh, yes, it seems like uh, poor little Larry was dreaming, yes. Honey, good morning, it's time to get up. Lawrence, wake up, wake up. Ah, oh, sorry, Mom. What time is it? Time to go to school and study. What were you dreaming about? You'll see, Mom, I was dreaming I was a professional player. Yes, of course, my darling, what sport? And then he's just like, oh, I can't possibly say that I want to play video games. Football, like Pele? No, Mom, Pele already stopped playing football. 
Basketball like Michael and Larry? Well, you did name me after Larry. Uh, it kind of. <laughs> uh, they are also retired. No, no, no. Video games. That is not a sport. Yes, it is. Yesterday, I saw it clearly. I want to be like them. Whatever you say, dear. It's good to have dreams at your age, but please get to school and study. There you go. Open the map and go to study at high school. So let's do that. The place where you go to learn. Yes. Oh yeah, by the way, there's now gonna co yeah, there's now gonna be a test. <laughs> yeah, if you're if you're not a big fan of surprise tests, well, the game throws that one at you almost immediately. So that's that's great. As you can see, our stress level is pretty decent right now. Our energy is full. So let's go to class. We've got ten dollars on us. All right. So here's the small tutorial about this. Pay attention to the target image. Click the button when you see a matching image. By choosing the right images, you increase the probabilities of passing the test. Now, personally, I find this very difficult. I don't know whether that's just me, but, well, you'll see what I mean. Alright, so we need to look for biology, basic math, that one, there we go, that one, and biology, basic math, there we go, that one, and that one, and, okay, it, it seems like a little bit easier than I had it last time. Okay, we gotta look for biology, and there we go, and... There we go, yes. We actually seem to be doing quite well this time around. Ah, not bad. Okay, so we have a, uh, about a 45% chance to get a good result on that test, which is much better than what I had when I first booted up the game. Suffice it to say, I had about 21. Yes, anyway. Russell, give me my laptop back, please. Shut up, kid. I'm just doing my job as a bully. Come on, man. I was in the middle of a Master of Champions match, please. Me and my team are the best in the city. What would you know about Master of Champions? Why don't you leave us alone, Russell? Yes, Russell. <laughs> Mind your own business, Lawrence. No, no, my friends are my business. Very good. Do you want to get your friend's laptop back? Yeah, I challenge you and your team of losers to a match in the esports bar. If you win, I will return the laptop to you. What do you think? How's he going to play without a laptop? Okay, we'll be there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Let me know when you have your team of losers ready. Laughing smiley. Okay. But Lawrence, what have you done? You don't know a thing about Master of Champions or eSports. And the most important thing, we don't have a team. Well, you do know, right, Mike? Well, more or less, but I'm not very good. We will need to find a team and train because I really want to get into this. Okay, Lawrence, let's go to the eSports bar. We can train there. All right, so let's go to let's go to the esports bar. Hopefully, I didn't use too much of my energy up doing that test. Passing exams is a good way of making money. Oh, apparently it is. Martian stuff. Did you get the reference to that? Yes. <laughs> All right. Seriously, Mike, I wish I had a computer like that to play with. At the moment, I've only got my mom's PC, which is a brick, and I can hardly play anything. How suddenly you've changed! You used to prefer spending all day out there. And you told me that I was a geek for spending the day playing. Yes, but the other day in the stadium, I got goosebumps imagining that I could be a professional esports player. Well, Lawrence, you can practice here until you get a computer. Focus on your skills as an esports player. You need to gain experience to improve them. Okay, I'm up for it. Take the money, it's on me today. How much is he gonna give us? He's gonna give us ten bucks. Uh, that's nice of him, I suppose. Thanks, Mike. I'm gonna practice a bit. Alright, so use the computer. So let's go over here and use one of these Martian stuff. Computers. Yes. Okay, so what you can do is you can watch merch. <laughs> yes, I think you know what merch is. If you understand, if you look, if you look at the font, you know what that is. And so, otherwise, we can train. So we can rent the PC for two hours for ten bucks. And this is where the gameplay comes into it. We can choose either Modern Warfighter to practice on this game. The popularity of this is actually pretty high, but because we have to obviously try to beat Russell in a battle of Master of Champions, we should probably practice that. The red team is the enemy team. Click on them for a kill. The blue team are your comrades and friendly fire will not be tolerated. So you have five bullets basically, or five clicks in this case, and you have to click on the red team to eliminate them and to get additional points. 
So you'll see exactly what I mean. There you go. There's the small little window here. And I'm going to have to click on these red little guys and try and kill them as best I can. So this is obviously the more active portion of the game in comparison to other kind of tycoon simulation games you know, that are similar in this genre. Because there you'll just select a couple of options and then you'll allow your person just to select a bunch of things at random and hopefully by some chance you might actually get a good result out of it. So this is obviously a little bit different in that respect where you're actually able to control for a little bit of the time, you know, the outcome of what actually happens. Wow, that's so fun, Mike, but I'm super stressed. Yes, Lawrence, playing down, playing sat down won't tire you out physically, but the mental exhaustion is extremely high. It will be better if you rest a little and you get to know people. Speaking with other people will help you to relax. Okay, I'm gonna try. All right, so let's go and speak to someone. Let's go and speak to, let's go and speak to that guy over there. He seems to have a similar haircut to me. There we go. We're going to lower our stress level, as you can see. When you train, your level of stress goes up. Perform social tasks to lower it. We're talking to Nelson. We're talking to Nelson Horniak. Yes, or Horniak, <laughs> however you want to say it. And we can become friends with this guy if we so desire as well. As you can see, this is the friendship meter. And I think I'm probably going to become his friend if I can. There we go. So now we're on a friend basis, or at least an acquaintance basis. And now we can stop the task, and we feel a lot better. And now we can speak to Mike once again. How are you, Lawrence? Good, more relaxed. I think I'm going to train again. Apart from training, I think it would be very good for us to see how the professionals play, don't you think? Yes, it's true. It must be less stressful, and we can learn some tricks or techniques. Here, you can also rent a PC to watch merch. Uh-huh. There you go. It's on me this time. Okay, Mike, I'm going to watch a match in merch. <laughs> oh, okay, let's do that. So, yeah, we'll spend five bucks watching merch for two hours. It's going to spend the rest of our energy, I'm pretty sure. So let's watch, um, yes, yeah, so let's watch Master of Champions, even though there's only 4,700 people. But it, it, instead of 802,000, that's crazy. Okay, so yeah, let's watch this. So pay attention to the image sequence. This is another mini game that you can play. Choose the right one to continue the pattern. All right, so you'll see exactly what I mean about that. So we need to do a tongue smiley. There you go. Okay, uh, angry. Okay, we need one of these. There we go. Yes, that is increasing our intelligence as well, by the way. So that's pretty good. Our intelligence and our communication skills, actually. So that's pretty nice. Mm, okay, there we go. There you go, we ran out of time. The faster you are, of course, the more difference it makes because you're able to complete more tasks and then get more bonus, I would assume. Anyway, we have leveled up to level one now. Have you seen how your skills have improved? Yes, I can see that I'm starting to gain experience. But what's it needed for? Gaining experience and improving your skills is essential for competing in a real match. Okay. When you manage to fill a skills bar, I will tell you more. Great. By the way, Mike, how many people are in an eSports team? Four people. We need to find two more and tell Russell. But don't worry, I'll handle it and we'll let you know. Now you can dedicate your time to improving your skills as much as you can. This is the only way we can beat Russell. Shouldn't, uh, shouldn't Mike be training as well? I will keep training, but I've got no money. I'll give you some money so you can come here and train. And he gave me a hundred bucks? He's rolling in it, that guy. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, so I actually don't have that much energy right now. So basically the only thing I can do is watch merch if I want to obviously do that. Or I could just take a look here. Yeah, you unlock various different objects and clothes as you progress through the game and level up, by the way. So you can get more t-shirts and pa pants and hats and all that sort of thing. And you can also decorate your room as well, however you so desire. But for now, I'm actually going to go to my house, or well, my parents' house, shall we say. And uh, we're going to go and sleep. Oh yes, we're going to go and sleep. It's going to reduce our stress. I, it should reduce our stress, but hopefully it's going to give us back our energy. Oh, it's actually not going to reduce our stress. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, anyway, as you can see, it will then give you a summary of what you have been able to gain in that day. And what date it is as well. 
And there you go. My energy is now maxed out. And it is about time that we head back to the esports bar. And that's literally what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing that for the next week. And we're just going to be like, oh, school, what's that? Yes, apparently. Stay in school, kids. Okay, so otherwise, we're going to rent this for two hours. And we're going to try and do a little bit of something, something. We're going to try and get mastery in Master of Champions. Don't show this to Churel again. Thank you very much. I know how to do this now. All right, so it does sometimes throw a bunch of things at you at once. And then you're just like, oh, what, how, how am I supposed to do all of this? And you have to reload manually as well, by the way. But hopefully I'm going to be pretty accurate when I'm doing these things. Oh, there we go. Got to reload and I'm going to miss a bunch. Ah, never mind. We're able to get our first talent point for coordination. And now Mike is going to, uh, Mike's going to call us over. Hi, Lawrence. I'm Mike. Nice to meet you. <laughs> hey, Mike. I just gained a skill point. Something was telling me that I had to call you right now. Well, you've nailed it. What do I do now? Come to my house and I'll tell you. All right. So now I can go to Mike's house once again. And he's going to tell me about the skill tree. Now, the skill tree is pretty in-depth. There's a huge amount of different things that you can do there. But you'll see it in just a second. I have to teach you how it goes. Don't go from things that people will never read. <laughs> Relax, Lawrence. I'm good at explaining. Let's play a match now. To the basics. So this is how a Master of Champions game goes. Master of Champions. The match begins. Yes, thank you very much, announcer person. Anyway, this is how a Master of Champions match goes. And you have a carry, you have a support, you have a tank, and so on and so forth. And there is a very high chance of your players getting killed. This guy is going to be able to do a lot of damage. Uh, as far as I'm aware. We're going to throw them a card to protect us. Click on the highlighted card. So these are all the cards that you can use. And obviously you have a variety of different effects alongside them. So we're going to use that to put Fog of War that on all of us. Our vision for good. This card increases our ability to hide ourselves. So that will make it a lot easier for us to avoid attacks. See, there we go. The icon is already gone. Now it's more difficult for them to see and eliminate us. Press the resolution button to start the match and jump to the next turn. All right, so now everyone is going to attack and we gain win points. Not a single player died. This team is on another level. Well, that's the point. If you actually didn't play the Fog of War card, then everyone would have attacked each other. Did you see the panel in the top right? Yeah, I do see that. That is the attack order. Yes, attacking with the first positions. It's very important because if a player is elimin eliminated, they won't be able to attack in that turn. We're going to try to get our carry to attack first. So carry energy. We can give the carry some energy and you know, give her increased attack damage. Obviously, oh, obviously has an infinity edge. <laughs> uh, yeah. If they still have that item. I actually don't know whether they still have that item in that game. Anyway, now we are going to increase the chances of it eliminating an enemy. Click on the highlighted card and we can do tactical scanner. They're all exposed. This does not look good. There you go. Now you can throw cards at your enemies to destroy defenses. So we can hopefully kill the enemy carry or try to do as much damage as possible. Damage. Now, as you can see at the bottom here, the maximum number of cards per turn has been achieved. In other words, you can only use three, three cards in a turn unless you spec into various skills to unlock more slots. As you can see, you have a maximum of six here as far as I'm aware. So, yeah, yeah, there you go. You can increase the number of cards through skills. Press the resolution button, and now this is when they attack each other. That was a close one. How effortless. Oh my god, that fail! Didn't even see that coming. That was a close one. Alright, so we actually did a pretty decent amount of damage right there. We killed their tank as far as I can tell, but we in turn lost ours. But they have restored themselves. That is exactly what happens every single turn. All of the, all of the, well, all of, all of the team's units, I, no matter what team it is, do tend to come back to life. Because the main thing that you have to take note of is this. This bar right here, the first team to reach the flag icon, as Mike is explaining right now, is going to win. And so using a strategy to earn win points is a really, really good idea. So let's use a winning play, which is going to increase our that win points. Incredible offense. They want this match. There we go. Now we've increased its win points and now we will increase the whole teams. So let's do that. This is a full blown attack. All or nothing. 
Now all your heroes will gain a lot of win points. There we go. Only the heroes who survive add up their win points. We're going to reduce the chance of them killing your heroes. In other words, we're going to gain a huge amount. So the fog card, taking tactics, and you know, getting cover and all that sort of thing is going to make a huge difference. And there we go. So now what's going to happen is everyone is going to miss. That one was missed on purpose. That one was pure luck. How did that one miss? How did that one miss? Was that a miss? Incredible! Oh my god, that fail! So there you go. They, the announcer fellow has told us what has happened, and as you can see, level. our win points have increased so dramatically that we the have achieved victory. So that's how you play a match of Master of Champions. Good, I understood. Yes, I'm sure we all did. Now you can assign the skill point you gained, so now we can just take a quick look at the skill tree. So this is the skill tree and you can obviously go across here. Yeah, do you see? You see how much stuff there actually is? There's a huge amount of stuff. Jungler, support, increase vision, carry, increase hit points, win points. And then of course you have tank, increase reflexes, increase de defense. And you just have a wide variety of different things you can do. Obviously right now, the only skills that I can increase are these at the bottom here because we have a coordination point. And we can only increase these in the first tier here, because we're, we're not a very high level right now. So, ability to attack first. Downed enemies can't attack on this turn. I think we should probably go for some reflexes, right? Why not? Yay! Well, that's it, Lawrence. You know how matches played and how you can improve. Yay! Yes, thanks, Mike. Now to keep training. I'm going to get better and get your laptop back. That's what, I, well, that's what I was hoping for. I'll keep looking for the two people we need for the team. If you need to come back and go over how we play matches, come and see me at home. Yay! All right. So there you go. So train and look at merch to gain experience and improve your skills before the confrontation with Russell. So you can spend your hundred dollars however you so desire. You can go back to the esports bar and do all that stuff. And a quick reminder, if you'd like to check out this game, the link is in the description. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.